None of them have moccasins That's on. That's right. Them. Look at these. They are really ankle deep or almost fetlock deep in mud, aren't they? Marvelous coverage of man leading horse into the gate. Number two there is uh, King Green. Dan Kruger, who sustained that spill you saw a little earlier here uh, from last Thursday. General <laughs> Assembly already in. Rick, who used to work for me, good assistant starter, left number two alone. He apparently breaks without anyone in with him. Jeffrey Fell has gone in on the three horse. All right, let's go to Marshall Cassidy. And going into the gate now is Steady Growth. The track is labeled sloppy. One horse in this race has mud cooks. King Green. And there goes Steady Growth. Nicely handled. Devona Dale is now in. And the only horse in the field with blinkers is Martin. And just about to go in. And being turned around once again now. And Smartin is now being led into his stall. One filly in this race, Devona Dale. Screen King is now on his way to the gate. And they're all in line. They're off. General Assembly on the inside. King Green on the outside in second. General Assembly does have the early lead. King Green does move up on the outside. Then it's private account. Steady growth to Bona Dale, Smartin, and Screen King. Past the stands now for the first time. General Assembly has the rail and the lead by a head. King Green is moving up on the outside right there in second by two. Private account between horses in third by a half length and Devona Dale on the rail is fourth. Steady growth on the outside fifth and Smartin and Screen King around the clubhouse turn. The first quarter in 23 and three. They are moving with a quick pace. It's General Assembly now leading by a length and a half. King Green is second by a length and a half. It's Devona Dale on the rail now in third. And gaining ground, and then private account back into fourth down the back stretch. General Assembly leads by two and a half. King Green on the outside retains second by a length. Devona Dale is third. Smartin moves up on the rail a closer fourth. And private account, steady growth, and screen King. Down the back stretch, the half in 47 and three. General Assembly has the lead, maintains a three-length lead. On the outside now is Smartin into second by three. Then King Green back into third. Devona Dale has lost some ground in fourth and it's private account and screen King around the far turn. General Assembly has the lead by three. It's Smartin in second by six lengths. Then on the outside, King Green. On the inside is Steady Growth and Devona Dale into the stretch. General Assembly has the lead still by four. It's Smart 10 in second by six. Private account on the rail is third. On the outside, King Green, then Devona Dale, the filly, approaching the 16th pole. General Assembly extending to an eight-length lead, and Smart in his second, General Assembly in front. And under the wire, an easy winner, General Assembly with Smart and second, and private account was third. The time on the board, a new stakes and track record here at Saratoga, two minutes even for the mile and one quarter distance over a sloppy main track. Now down to Jack and Frank. Well, there's a new track record. Holy mackerel, Jack, in this slot. Not a stake record, a track record. That's amazing. I was surprised he had that much explosion left coming down after the quarter pole. Uh, he just really went out from there. Well, the speed in the mud, so yep. dangerous, he got away with a reasonably slow, slow pace, early yeah. pace, 23 and some change, the half mile in 47 and 3. They made a few moves at him, never really in danger. And when he fired after he left the eight pole, it was all over. And that's an amazing time. Jim Daly, you what got him? Race. Yes, what a race. You don't want me to curse, huh? No. What do you got to say about this horse? A new track record. He ran a big race, didn't he? Got the license to be a good horse. Yes, he has. He's got the breeding. Frank, you, of course, know much more about it. Well, but... I know what you know, Jack. Everyone looks for here as a last threatening challenge from somebody. Smartin had given his best effort here in second place. He'd moved menacingly. But Vasquez, as he told Jimmy Daly, pulling up completely confident, 
handwriting him here and opening up with every jump as he comes to the wire. He, the precautionary thing, Jack, most riders will do, see him waving his stick yes. up by his eye just to keep his mind on his job. No necessary uh, situation to drive him. Hand ride him, shake the stick up by his eye, and win laughing. How much better a horse would you think he was now than he was back in May? That hard I would say, like, that's a good question, Jack. We ought to pose that to Leroy. Horses like human athletes can go off form, can get a little tired. Leroy brought him back here, as I told you, to a prep race a few weeks ago, ran brilliantly, and I think he too had confidence going into this race. This horse has never lost at Saratoga. This is his fourth consecutive victory here. Of course, if he hasn't lost, it would be consecutive, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and it is now official, ladies and gentlemen. General Assembly, the winner here, paying 880, 460, and 360. Number two was uh, Smartin, uh, paying 420 and 320, and uh, number three, private account, paying 440. Jack, Sir Walter Raleigh laid down some kind of a, oh, the canoe, look here. They, they have to paint They the, do have to change the paint now. Firestone's yes, colors, Mr. which are green Burton and white. Firestone will get a, a red to, to green situation now. That's the custom here. For one year, this canoe in the center field will bear the, the color of the winner of the Travers. Owner. Jump up and down when the mud hit him in the face. And uh, she, when we got to the back swing, then she, she settled down. But this time, uh, she kind of dropped back on me. And, and it was one of those races, you know. That... Certainly not true to her form, but she even gamely went on and finished fourth. But she wasn't handling the track at all. I don't think so until uh, probably the last eight of a mile. She's really settled down and she was coming on then. Well, so it was too late. We're awfully sorry you didn't have a better trip. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Let's take a look at it from the top. I think you might enjoy it. And there you on. were committed, as we are earlier said, probably to speed, although he rated well. Well, well we gave Jacinto General. his option. If he broke and nobody fired out of there fighting for the lead, uh, as long as he could pull you to the lead, let him go on and do it. And uh, King Green here tries to go with him for about an eighth of a mile and uh, then kind of eases back and when I think that was really the turning point in the race. Well Vasquez looks like he's got an arm full of horse let him answer for himself you look like you're about to pull up there. Well it's a nice horse to raid he take a pretty good hold he's relaxed under the bed and uh, when I turn in the box side he was awful relaxed he was running very easy. You told Jimmy Daly you had a lot of confidence you must have felt that he was like of course he liked the track Lee told me that early he's a good mother. Well uh, I thought my chance was hurt when it rained, but uh, now after the race, I feel different. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going very nicely here. You got away with a nice kind of pace, didn't you? Well, he put in a super last quarter of a mile. If you notice, he goes his last quarter of a mile in 24 and a fifth, and a mile and a quarter in the mud with 126 on you, that's a tough job. Lee, Jack posed a question to me earlier. So we're so used to the human athlete who can speak for himself. But obviously, horses don't maintain the same level all the time. This horse is good right now. You told me that a few days ago. Well, he's been good. After the Triple Crown, he was a, just a flat, worn-out horse. And uh, we walked him for three weeks until he mangled a couple of hot walkers. And then we <laughs> took him back to the racetrack. And uh, he's really, I, I think, going through the ordeal was probably, although it wore him out, I think it was good for him. It made him tough inside, and he's showing it now. Well, the toughness is showing now. Right here, Smart 10, game, once again trying to challenge you, but there was no shot, Asinto. No, I would hit a lot of horses last battle. He was running off for easy. I never even hit him. Every time I show the whip, he keep running, responding. So an easy victory and a very well-deserved victory. Credit to you, Lee Jolly, training him, getting him a race over here. And Asinto, anytime you see a rider rate a horse that well, he deserves credit. Well, you got to have the horse to do the rate him that well. <laughs> Leroy, can we ask you, is it too early, what plans uh, we see you in the fall? Well, I guess we'll see him someplace in two or three weeks. We didn't get invited to the Marlboro Cup, but uh, there's some pretty tough horses that did, so maybe maybe we're lucky we didn't get invited. But 